Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is Chris. Hello? Hello? Hey, um, uh, I have a question because I'm going to be buying a MacBook Pro. Okay. And, um, uh, I'm near to Apple. So, okay. Um, Alright, I've never called him before. I was just like, am I talking to him? No, or is this some calling system? <laughs> who, who are you calling? Who are you calling for? Oh, wait, um, is this the Corolla, uh, Cheat? Yeah? Okay, yeah. Um, I was gonna call and ask a question about the MacBook Pro because, um, I'm gonna be getting one and I wanna know if I can run, um, Adobe Photoshop CS2 on it in boot camp with XP instead of uh, having to run Rosetta Stone through OS X. Uh, well, in instead of using... Okay, wait. I think you're confusing a couple of things. But bottom line, what you're trying to do is fine. Y you can do that. If you've already got a copy, I'm assuming you already have a copy of uh, of the program for XP, and th that's the reason why you're asking? Uh, yes, okay. I have uh, the CS2, uh, Adobe Photoshop CS2 okay. for XP, but I know that Rosetta Stone in OS X slows down, and I want to know if I was running it in XP through boot camp, if it would be running at native speed on the hardware in the MacBook Pro. Okay, uh, Rosetta Stone, by the way, is, uh, um, well, the ref the original reference, okay, Rosetta Stone is translation software. The Rosetta Stone was a, a discovery that was made that ultimately helped mankind, you know, modern civilization translate one language into another. Okay, it's okay, but you're right, uh, Rosetta was created, it's, uh, essentially, uh, it translated, um, older sets of instructions to uh, a newer set. It allowed you to run classic apps uh, or more cla <laughs> classic apps inside of uh, OS X. So it was kind of a, a, tra a tr transitory period. Uh, like a PowerPC application could run on o OS X. Um, and so that the name is perfect for Apple, but the name is now, I guess, kind of thrown in with the translation software. Um, you couldn't even run your Windows program through Rosetta because it was only designed for Mac software. You could run it through a virtual machine like VMware or Parallels uh, on the uh, OS X's desktop, and it would be fine in there inside a virtual machine, XP virtual machine, kind of like what I, I'll show you. I've got I, anything I do in here, let's launch it, VMware. I uh, don't know how long it'll take to, to get up here, but we'll go ahead and launch it. Here's my, here's my, uh, I don't know, let's see here, if you got a pre, can you see it? Hopefully. Um, half. Okay, you can, well, you can see half of the screen. Well, anyway, I've got, uh, my Windows XP right here. Let's, yeah. let's tilt it. And that is, this is OS 10 down here. And, uh, let me minimize that. I can, pr I can prove that it's OS 10 if I, you know, zoom in and show you. Look, there's, there's the finder oh, window. Okay. And then, right down here. There's XP, and it's running seamlessly uh, right here inside of, uh, you know, well, inside this virtual machine on the desktop. So I could run Photoshop inside this virtual machine. I could also run it in Boot Camp and access that Boot Camp partition from VMware or Parallels. So either way you go, uh, you'd be fine. I, mean, I, could run in this, I could run any Windows application. There's Internet Explorer, and I'm in OS X. Insane. But that's how it works. Here's Windows Media Player. In OS 10, it's it's okay. not. A, 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 look, I'll zoom in again. I'll show you. That's, look, XM Radio. That's, that's Windows Media Player. All right. Inside well, of OS 10. I show out the money for CS3 since they had CS2, and uh, it's okay. Uh, I didn't want it to run slow. Yeah, uh, no. No. It'll run. Oh, dude. Okay, if you're getting a, a MacBook Pro, if the specs on that MacBook Pro meet or exceed the specs of the machine that you're currently running on, you'll be fine. Okay, you. then you'll be okay. I don't want to lose anything. You won't. You won't. You, as you just basically put uh, Windows XP, you install Boot Camp, just go through the wizard here in OS X, install Boot Camp, and then when you reboot the machine into Windows, you can use it. Or uh, it's not going to be as fast. A virtual machine won't be as, as fast as if you were just running full native, like, you know, Windows in Boot Camp. 
but it still will give you access to your boot camp partition. So if you didn't want to reboot out of outside of OS 10, you could. Or if you just wanted to boot into nothing but Windows, you could do that as well. Okay. Well, one just quick question about the virtual machine. Sure. Uh, about how much performance is lost? Like, is it running 80 percent, 90 percent, or is it very? It, it de well, it depends yeah. on a lot of things. I mean. First of all, it, it's a virtual machine. It does have access to your hardware at, at, a, at a lower level. It's not emulation, so it's not going to run dog slow. But I would hesitate to say that you know, it depends on what you're doing, and it depends on the virtual machine that you're running as well. Like in this virtual machine, I've got it set up to uh, 2 gigs of RAM on a 32-bit uh, installation of, of Windows. I've got it set to just use one virtual processor versus two virtual processors because most of my XP applications were only optimized for single processors. Most apps are. So I've been tweaking with the configuration settings. I also, inside a, when I just right click my computer and go to properties, property sheet pulls right up. I mean, no lag there. Uh, so it's, it's running very fast. Under uh, advanced, I go to settings. And then in advanced there further, I change the page file. I set it to a static size. They've given me a recommended version or a recommended size. I set it about half that. I'm not even coming close to tapping it because I'm not running a lot of you know very intensive apps. You might try it either way um, in terms of you know what kind of what's going to be faster. I can guarantee the boot camp will be faster as to how much faster. I think it largely depends on the app. I mean, if you were to tell if you were to sit here and say, "Oh, Internet Explorer hardly loads," it loads right up. I mean, to me, it's, just, it's like right there. Um, you know, if I'm doing anything that's graphically intensive, I don't know how much uh, you know speed I'm going to lose. Uh, if I were to run Photoshop, I would. If I didn't want to leave OS 10, I would run it I inside a virtual machine. If I wanted all-out performance, then I would definitely do boot camp. But at least you've got the ability to run or access your boot camp partition from within uh, VMware or Parallels. The two are like you know completely different types of technologies. Boot camp turns your Mac into a PC, only it doesn't install crap. That's one thing. It just okay. doesn't. So. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. It's no problem. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. Uh, all right. Well, this is my first time on the feed and uh, watching on the stream. And cool. Everything, so just a, it was a good experience. So thank you. Good. No problem. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.